Hi friends, it's summer and it's time for our Lectio Divina. It's time to slow down the word so that we can hear it and receive from the Lord in a fresh way. So today I just encourage us to set down our agenda even before we get to the prayer time. As we're taking our deep breaths, I just want you to bring to the awareness um, the things that may be pressing in on you and make and choose to set them in Jesus' hands during this time. Choose to be present. Choose um, to make this time with the scripture your priority. Go ahead and take some deep breaths. Again, another deep breath. Put it all in Jesus' hands. He can take care of it for this next 10 minutes. One more deep breath, and as you blow it out, think to yourself, rest. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you are here. I thank you for your word and that the author is present as we read your word. We just take a moment to um, bring the fact of your presence into our awareness. You are here. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Today we're just going to be doing one verse, and it's John 15, 5. The first time I'll read it um, just for familiarity. And then the second and third times, I'll lead you through. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him. He it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. This time, as I read this verse, I'm going to read it very slowly, and I just invite you to listen for a word or phrase that seems to have a weightiness about it, seems to stick out to you. I am the vine. You are the branches. Who 
whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit For apart from me, you can do nothing. Go ahead and look at that word or phrase and turn it over in your mind and even turn it over with the Lord. Ask him to talk to you about what that word means. This time, as I read the verse, I invite you to listen for an invitation. What is the Lord inviting you to through these words? You are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him He it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Go ahead and spend a moment listening for an invitation. What is the Lord inviting you to today? This is your moment to respond to the Lord. It can be something very simple or something that comes from a very deep place and emotion that you bring out before the Lord.
Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that this seed that you've planted in our lives today would be watered and would grow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, friends.